I'd like to tell you a story that will be passed down from generation to generation in our small village. It's the story of my uncle Nixau. He's a bushman. In fact, he's the bushman. Some said he must be crazy, but he lives a simple, carefree life, free as the wind, free as the birds, with happy, simple dreams. Or to put it another way, this is his idea of a good time. I think money. By the way, only in our culture do people rub dirt on themselves to get clean. Nixau is a tribal elder, the most respected man in our village. So of course he's got the best job. And nothing works up an appetite like getting to the root of a problem. At lunchtime, Nixau repairs to the executive cafeteria for the Thursday Hunt Your Own Hoof and Turf Special. But on that particular day, something was very different. Something strange was going on in the bush. Cut, cut. They were just shooting a television commercial and Nick Sow accidentally got Come in the on, way. Bob, you're the director. Okay, everything's under control. Uh, can we have the camera over here, please? No, 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 don't move. Keep the camera there. You're the boss. Suddenly, something hit him on the head. Oh, my God. Sorry, are you okay? It was strange and yet somehow very familiar. Do you need any help? No, I'm okay. Go back to work. <laughs> Then Nick's out found the bird. Sorry, I don't understand. Take it. Uh, excuse me. Sterling? Yeah? We're uh, ready to go. The camera's in okay, position. Okay, I'm coming. Is okay. the camera right? Yep, we're all ready. You like it? Okay, thank you. Call that a hamburger. Joe. Shirley speaking. Yes, who? Is that you, Jack? Shit. Not you, Shirley. How's everything in L.A.? Great. How's by you? Everything's fine here. Shirley, when are you going to finish that shoot? It's costing me big bucks. We shoot everything today. When are you coming to Hong Kong? Now, my boys here told me the latest figures. Seems that your little island of six million's got the highest sales of Malibu burgers per head of population in this whole entire world of six billions. I got big expansion plans for your part of the world, darling. That's why I can't wait to make another visit to that Dynamo City of yours. What do they call it? What is it? The Pearl? Pearl something? That's right. Pearl of the Orient. I'll be over next week. Next week, huh? Okay, let's shoot it. Nick's out 
brought his prize home to the tribe. They celebrated his astonishing gift late into the night. Yeah, there we go. We deserve this. Okay. I promise you. To the Bushman. To the Bushman. To the Bushman. The whole tribe got it on the bun and partied all night long. Someone stopped to think of the bird. The poor thing was trapped inside the bottle, or at least that's how they saw it. All they could think about was how to get it out of there and back into the sky where it belonged. Everyone agreed the bird must be set free, released. But how to do it? Finally, my wise uncle told them, the pretty lady put the bird in the bottle, she must know how to get it out. It's terrific. Oh, great. I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah. Bob? Uh-huh? The spot's gonna be a hit. Uh, no doubt about it. For you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Bye. Bitch. best tracker in our village. If anyone could find the pretty lady, he could. My ticket. Thank you, man. Yeah. How long to Johannesburg? Oh, not very long. About an hour. Whoa. Thank you. In the basket. Everything's ready. Mm. Let's go. No way, man. No, 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 no. Oh no! Not again. Some days it just doesn't pay to get out of your hut. And so my uncle boarded the plane and took his first flight as luggage. These are some serious man, John. Shirley. What's up? I got the fax saying they need me at the office immediately. No, 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 no. Don't, don't confuse me. I'm going to forget. Okay. Michael said I should tell you to read the facts about getting to the office for a big meeting immediately and that you're coming in on an airplane. And, and, and What do you mean coming in? Is anyone home in there? I'm here. I've arrived. And now for the big question. Concentrate now. Where is my car? It's uh, upstairs. No, no, my mistake. <laughs> uh, it's over there. There it is. Got the keys? Oh. In there. No kidding. I've got a rattan trunk and baggage claim. Pick it up. Try and get it right this time. Louis, this is the trunk with my diamonds. How do you know, Chewie? They all look the same. When it comes to diamonds, I can smell them. Trust me. Uh, uh, uh. No back, always left with left. Lift with your legs, bend to the knees. Oh my God, what have I gotten here in dead bodies? Oh. Come on, Chewy. no time to stop for egg rolls. Let's go. Ow! 
Huh? Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Look at you, you've got the clothes on. Now, this is not a fancy dress party. This is a respectable hotel, sir. You have to pick up all this garbage. Look at the mess you've made here. Ooh. Come on, sir, pick it all up. I haven't got all day, you know. Come on, pick it up. Oh, 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 Stewie, that little guy's got our diamonds. Oh, you can smell them, all right. Don't be a hell of a mess. Mess you've made me. Get my thing and sit around garbage in my hotel. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 pursuers. Now he had time to look around and wonder, where in the world am I? You too. Take him back to his girlfriend. Tell her he's not to run around half naked. Next time, we'll bring charges. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Hi, Jack. Oh, hello, Mike. I just saw the rushes. Is Shirley there? Hi, Jack. 
Listen, Shirley, my boys are pretty impressed. Now, they want to run this spot worldwide, not just Hong Kong. You got that? Okay, now down to the nuts and bolts. What's the latest on the number of outlets? We've got 39 shops now. You got how many? 39? 39? Did I hear 39? Operator! 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 Listen, what the hell's going on? We had a game plan. That's 40, not 39. One thing I learned after all these years, never change the game plan. Now that's 40. It's not 39, it's not 41, it's 40. Gentlemen, I'm glad we understand each other. Mr. William, hi, this is Tony. You remember me? Oh yeah, you're the brown nose. We have 40 shops. It's just a matter of getting rid of the old tenant, that's all. All right, well, get Shirley onto it and take no prisoners. When I get to Hong Kong, I expect to visit that number 40 outlet. You got that? Don't worry, Jack. I promise you everything will be done by the time you get here on Monday. Bye, Jack. Bye-bye. See you on Monday. Grandma, we got us some shooting to do. Tony, what's the problem here? If we've got a lease, let's enforce it. Now boot them out of there. It's not a problem with the lease. See, uh, someone's got a mother who's not getting with the program. My mother? You bought my mother's shop when I was in Africa? Shirley, it was a decision of market research. Shit happens. Shirley, your mom's shop is the perfect location for a Malibu burger. You know that. We've got demographics up the wazoo. Michael's seen them. Okay. When's the damn lease up? Right now. In fact, the lease expired several months ago. Sorry, Shirley. I didn't know the store belonged to your mother. I hope you can handle this for the sake of our company. We'll give her full compensation for moving expenses. Oh, how nice. Tony, do me a favor. Let me break it to her. She's had the business 17 years. You've got my word on it. Shirley, you've got a guest in leather diapers. Say what? Jerk. Let me put it to you this way, ma'am. What's short wears a uh, loincloth and runs know. in the street. Uh, maybe him? A good one, yeah, really. Uh, anyway, ma'am, tell us, does he belong here or not? And where is this Miss Hearn, huh? We're not going to walk around with him like this all day. He looks kind of funny in that get-up. Kind of embarrassing as well. I don't know. I, I, oh. There she is, Miss Hearn. Oh. Hey, what's up? Guess what we found. Thanks. What the hell are you doing here? You're you right. win. We found your little playmate naked, jousting with traffic, ma'am. So, do you want him back now? Is that all right with you, ma'am? Huh? I don't know him. You don't? But you just said hello to him, though. Oh, come on. Yikes doesn't mean hello. Oh, you know him. Let's split. Officers, you can't leave a man like that in an office like this. Look, ma'am, he was wearing your ID tag. Where are you? I know the guy. Look, if you have a problem, then call his consulate. I mean, the here. consulate. All right. Hmm? Yeah. Would you do me a biggie? Please take him off my hands. I mean, we met briefly if you... Look, ma'am, he's here now. He's your responsibility. Got a problem? Then call someone. Let's Come go. on, we're out of here. Don't what do you got, Ivy? It's a holiday. I got a pre-recorded message. I didn't have a lot of luck finding your bag. Did you try checking the airline? The airline? Of course the airline. Exactly what are you using for brains? Uh, who's this guy? Your new boyfriend? No, Mr. Wise Guy. He's now your new assistant. Uh... Welcome to the firm, old man. Do you have any initial questions? I don't want to be a I agree, but let's get that between ourselves. Okay? Nice hairstyle. Where'd you get it, huh? I don't want to be Ooh, I've gone there. Hey, come on, meet the gang. This is Ivy? By the way, here you have a fax for me. Fax? Oh, uh, 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 sorry. Cool. We'll make a copy. Good news. 
you, Cheryl. There's been a breakthrough on your missing trunk. They've spotted a couple of sky cats. They were dancing around with your panties on their heads. Sounds promising, eh? Oh, just keep looking. Ever have one of these? John, I've got a meeting. You look out for a little friend here. Uh, it's quitting time. Do it for me. I'll pay you overtime. Okay? Okay. Stick with me, pal. Hmm. Hey, Ivy, where did the new guy go? The new guy. No idea, but you better find him. Oh, hi, Vee. Stalking a pretty woman. No big job for a clever hunter like Nick Sal. Except if the ground is moving. I like a lot better. It's slimming on me. But it's the same shirt, ma'am. Ah, no wonder it looks familiar. Right. It makes you look like a pumpkin. Oh, oh. Now, these ties are the latest rage. Hmm, is this a clip-on? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to ask the sales manager. Yikes! Mm. Why aren't you with John? This time we find your boyfriend molesting plastic birds. Plastic birds? Didn't we warn you already to keep this guy out of the streets? I'm responsible. Just keep your personal life indoors. You got that? We gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See ya. This looks great. You know, you really should be a fashion model. What do you think, Miss Holmes? Stylish, no? Hmm. It's a look. <coughs> But even in these strange and wonderful new surroundings, Nixau had to remind himself why he had come, his mission to free the yellow bird. But he could not make himself understood to his beautiful hostess. Funny how a man can travel a journey of 10,000 miles and still be separated by a few small words. Hello? Hi, Cheryl. Oh, Ivy, listen, I've ordered a cake. Can you get John to pick it up? Okay, bye. Bye. Hang up. You first. Okay, bye. Bye. Hello? You still there? Okay, both hang up on three. One, two, three. It had been a long time since Uncle Nixau had seen rain. <laughs> No, no. Do you understand the concept of rain? We don't want to get wet. In Mixau's homeland, in our tribe, a rainstorm was caused to rejoice, caused for celebration, and the whole tribe would pass around the soap and the back scrubber. Hey, why don't you watch what you're driving? You see what you did to my car? Yeah, who taught you how to drive? Something was going on up ahead. 
traffic accident. It reminded Nick Sow of two bull rhinos mating at a watering hole. Only it smelled a lot better. Relax, it's just me. <laughs> this is TV. Don't be afraid. Wait, wait, don't get scared till you see the commercials. Come on, get up. Have a seat, relax. I'll fix dinner. Yikes! Wait! Don't drink that. It's full of fish poop. Come with me. Water. Ice. See? You blimp, you drink any more and you'll bust your loincloth. <laughs> That's enough, come on. <laughs> Is that you, John? No, it's June. You forget your umbrella? No, I forgot my umbrella. Just give me the damn cake and come in. Don't drip on the rug. Hey! Boy, it's good to see you. How you doing? Hey, uh, how come you're not wet from the rain like me? Oh, under the awning. I didn't do it like that. Of course, you're much thinner than I am. <laughs> Bust the move! John! Yikes! Yeah? What is this? Your idea of a joke? No, it's cake. This is an ice cream cake. I sent you out for a birthday cake. Does this look like a birthday cake? I'm a little hazy on the distinction, sugar. Birthday cakes aren't made of ice cream. So, how do you like the cake? Oh, great. I love it. My husband's going to come home from work and find ice cream soup for dinner. Yikes! Hmm. So, now's maybe not the time to ask for a raise. Uh, ice cream is ice cream. Birthday cake is birthday cake. Want some? Come on. Okay. The first thing to remember is to eat the cake, not the spoon. Watch me. Okay, let me turn. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go next, and then you go. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right. Now you can go. Okay. Then I go, and then you go. No, 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 no. I don't get enough to bite. You get a bite, I'll get a bite, okay? Okay, wait, no, 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 no. Where's the cake? Oh, John. Oh, Johnny. If you want a job tomorrow, you better get out of here right now. Oh, yeah. 
I myself would love to have a job tomorrow. How about you? Hmm. Get cleaned up before dinner, okay? Sweetheart, is that you? Mom. Mom. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> oh, come on, don't cry. Come in and tell your daughter all about it. Okay. Okay, okay, out with it. Some daughter, forcing your own mother out on the street. Let me get you a nice glass of water, Ma. Your stupid company is trying to run me out of business, those bastards. They called me collect this morning. They're giving me three days to get out of my store. <laughs> You're the one behind all this, aren't you? Betrayed by my own daughter. Was the caller Tony Lee? So you did ask them to throw me out of the building on my ass? No, Ma. I would never use the word ass. Why do I have to get a collect call from a perfect stranger telling me I've been evicted? You're seeing your staff and my daughter. You should have told me months ago. You're right, Ma, but I was in Africa. I got back a little while ago. I'll try to fix it. You know I will. I hope so. Your father, God rest his soul, is rolling over in his grave. <laughs> husband getting along? Oh, we're doing fine. We're having a candle at dinner. Oh, really? Yes. Surely everyone knows he has a mistress. You must be strong. A woman must be like a willow. Resilient enough to bend with the breeze, yet strong enough. Stop it, Ma. problem you'd like to get off your chest? All right, that's it, Ma. Let's just talk about the shop. Suppose I can get us a buyout deal. Would you think about relocating then? It's not about money, Shirley. It's a matter of principle. Your father and I started <laughs> oh, the store Ma, 17 Ma. years ago. We worked hard to build it up, and it always provided the times. family with a good source of income, and <laughs> then like you went to the CD. university. Uh -huh, it's getting late. Uh -huh. I've got to go. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. I'll call you tomorrow. Yes. Shirley, you listen to Mama. One night of passion does not a romance make. Trust me. Trust me, hon. <laughs> you lost the diamond. Well, how's it my fault? I chew of an egg roll. Well, let's go then. Ow! Shirley here. I'm going to be a little late for the meeting. Keep it going. I should be there in about a half hour. Uh, I don't know, but uh, make him wait. Okay? Bye-bye. What are you doing? Something wrong? 
Look, I've got a busy day. Just stay with me. Let's go. and I'll try to get you your money, your dental, your 401k program. Yikes. Bill, I want to know right now what the hell's going on with this company. Your husband's run off with a company's money and we're bankrupt. <sighs> there wasn't much Uncle Nick's now could do to help. Hmm, but what a fine opportunity to sample the local produce. How is Nick's out to understand all the confusion? In our tribe, there are no such things as labor problems. All Nick's out knew for sure was that his new friend was having trouble with the people that made the bouncing fruit. take him back. Then I'm meeting Winnie. I've got other problems. Bye-bye. rough day. Could you please just sit here quietly and just behave yourself? Hey, Shirley. Hey, Winnie. How come you're late? Where'd you find him? What a hunk, eh? <laughs> Are you listening to me? Winnie, you haven't heard one word I've said. Of course I have. Your husband's gone and your company is short of money and the bank is forcing you to pay your husband's debts. If you don't pay soon, they'll repossess your car and house and your company plans to throw your mother out of her store. Fine. Here, take some Kleenex. Do yourself a favor. Take a deep breath, sit yourself down, and have yourself a really, really good cry. Now tell me, how much do you owe? Way too much, Win. Come off it. We're supposed to be best friends. My boyfriend's rich. And as you well know, he's never, ever said no to me. Come on, don't worry. Could you lend me half a million? Oh, half a million? I can't do that. How about a million? But Winnie! No problem. Come on. Uh, but just hold it till tomorrow, okay? I think we've covered every inch of this city. It's like searching uh, for a worm in a noodle factory. Look, there he is. <laughs> oh, there you are, my little friend. Uh, you, oh, don't chew it. Get me out of here. Oh, you... Oh, my arm. Oh. Okay. All right. I got you. I got you now. Come on. Oh, ow. Oh. oh. Get up, Chewy. Let him get away, You look Chewy. like a beach whale in a leisure suit. Come on. Get Let's back go. here. Help 
paying for that. Oh, everything's dark. You're wearing sunglasses, you fool. Let's go. Oh. This way. This way, up here. Come on. Hey. Stop that guy in the bathroom. Get back here. Get back here. Wait, get him. Get back here. Come on. Did you get this? Easy for you to say. No, oh, don't damage the wicker. Oh, 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 ow. Oh, now you're going to be chased, Dewey. Oh. Come on. If you want to know about men, I'll tell you about it. All men are alike, gondoliers or lumberjacks. One will use a sweet voice to sing his way into your heart, while the other will don a big red shirt and use every trick and cut you down. Which one is your husband? Well, my husband's a little different. He took his mistress, cleaned out the bank account, and left the damn country. To hell with him. Look, Cheryl, the important thing is that we're both women, and women are like willow trees. We've got to bend in the wind, yet be strong mm, enough okay. to withstand and... Here's another approach. You might want to pray to the gods. Good idea. Call me tomorrow. What's with you? Why are you so wet all over? Scoot over. <laughs> Your friend's way cool. So, tell me. Does he dance as good as he looks? How should I know? I gotta get into the car to go over there and get back to work. Bye-bye. Okay. Ivy to come into the meeting. Hey, Shirley's called us big shots in for an emergency meeting. A what? Emergency meeting. What did you find out from the agent? He said they aren't able to sell the shop upstairs. What about renting it? I didn't ask him. You didn't ask him? What's the matter with you? Don't you understand? My mother has this door downstairs. I don't have to throw her out if we can get the upstairs business for Malibu Burger. So, if we put the new burger shop upstairs, uh, the serving area is twice as large. And uh, we can put in nice big glass windows and paint the walls nice bright colors and we'll really do the place up right. It'll have great visibility. <gasps> Yikes! <laughs> What's he doing out there? John? Yes? Take 
care of him, will you? I'm off duty now. I'll pay you overtime. Take him out and show him a good time. What do I use for money? Have you ever heard the word reimbursement? Oh, sure. But can I get my money back? Just bring him back to my mom's store by 11. It's called bamboo fish. They take a fish and put it inside the bamboo. No, you eat the fish, not the bamboo. Well, your wife has a recipe too, huh? Come on, I'll show you more. See, uh, look here, this is only fish. We choose the fish here and then they uh, cook it to order later in the restaurant. You can eat the fish raw, too. Uh, well, there's a good one over there. See, oh, actually, that one's swimming upside down. So what's with the upside down one? Special fish. Special fish? It's missing both fins and not moving very much. Yeah, I huh? It's sunk to the bottom of the tank and it's covered with slime. A rare delicacy, yeah. another fish right there. Please don't do that. No, you can't shoot the salesman. Look, I'm telling you, you can't shoot the salesman. Unless you give him a running start. You gotta give him a running start, get it? <laughs> I keep around with you. Uh, kill me. No. No tie. No shoe. Coming. Back. No. No. Hey, don't let that Sultan get to you, okay, pal? Hey, don't use that kind of language around me. Boy, I never sometimes. Shoes. Tie. No problem. Let's go, my brother. chest, hmm? Okay. You got it! <laughs> this, uh, this is in Africa, hmm? <laughs> Relax! <laughs> it's okay. Have some sake. Wash it down. That's it. Good, huh? Mm, nothing like a little raw fish. Sushi, go ahead. How many light bulbs in Hong Kong? Oh, about 43,603. Oh, yeah, count them yourself. You did? <laughs> Times. This isn't much of a business nowadays. Look around you. This isn't what people want. Fast food's the future. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard all that before. If I listened to that story 20 years ago, you wouldn't have afforded your college. I've seen it all. Believe me, double cheeseburgers, pizza parlors, and frozen yogurt. And let me just say, I'm still here and they're not. I know it isn't easy, Mom. 
But why don't we just take the compensation they're offering and move? What's this we stuff all of a sudden? That's a first for you, isn't it? Before this, you were always the perfect company girl, always taking their side. What about me? What about me, your own mother who raised you? Thank God your sated father never lived to see this day. Mom, would you just listen to me a second? Those foreign bosses don't give a damn about you. The first time you fail, you're out on your ass. And surely, as long as we're talking, if you looked after your husband as well as you look after your job, you'd have a home life. <sighs> Come on, Shirley, are you going to think only of yourself or are you going to help out your dear sweet mother? Time for you to choose. Hey, uh, don't slip the merchandise, all right? Let's go. Hey, Cheryl, what do you think, huh? You're just in time for dinner. Did you do this to him? He likes it. It's a whole ensemble here. Uh, what do you think? Oh, basic black. Very practical. What? Go on, make yourself at home. Ma, you said... Maybe this isn't the best time to have a casual dinner thing. Uh, we'll, we'll come back. You sense the two? Some kind of mother-daughter problem thing? Maybe you want to buy a duck? No, 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 no. That's a uh, preserved duck. No, no, touch that. Don't touch that. Look, will you just trust me on this one, will you? Hey, look, come here. All right? Take a good look at that, will you? I can't believe trained professionals like us can't catch a bum like this. There's more to him than meets the eye. Ah, oh, my face. Look what he did to my face. Mm. When I find him, I'm gonna kill him. Oh, your face. It's not a face, it's a pillow with eyes. Uh, mm. My urine sample. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Glad to see you. Do me a favor, will you? Keep an eye on him what? for me, and if you take him out, put some clothes on him, okay? No Bye. problem. Bye. Hi. Remember me? Two party. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> okay. Did you finish? Um, Come on, let's go. Okay? Okay. Get dressed. Dress up. Right? What's wrong? Uncomfortable? Forget it. Let's go. Uncle had never had it so good. Now another beautiful lady was interested in him. Yo, honey, honey. Here, get down, okay? That's it. Now, put your butt over here. Put your leg up. Put your leg up there. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uncle preferred the feel of the wind in his hair. Joe! Hey Joe, you got 
what I ordered? Sure. Ready in an hour, please. Thanks. These are my pussy cats. Go find your own. Go on, go on, scat, scat. Uncle Nixa could not understand why these people kept putting all their animals in cages. Only one thing to do. Eight sparrows at five dollars. This is Hong Kong, as far as the eye can see. Look right over there. You see that building over there? The one with the spire on top? That one? It's my boyfriend's office. Get it? My boyfriend <laughs> works over there. Right over there. Are you a married man? Got a wife? You know, with a big family? You know, a wife with kids. Then, then you have babies? You know, babies. Um, babies. Babies. Kuch, 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 kuch. Babies. Come in. Huh? Whoa, you're a stud. I'm excited just thinking about it. I want babies. They go goo goo. No, the cuckoo. The cuckoo. We've talked about it. My boyfriend and I want to have babies. Babies. <laughs> Someday, maybe. He wants to immigrate first. <laughs> I guess he has a point there. Until then, I guess, you know, we got to be patient. Where the hell is that temple? I know they put it around here somewhere. Oh, boy. late. Chili's got to find my ass. Oh. Hey, mister. Have you seen a temple around here anywhere? I haven't seen anything in 10 years, but here's my best advice for you. Go to 7-Eleven, make a ride at McDonald's, and you can't miss it. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, can I help you across the street? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm having trouble remembering things these days. I mean, uh, sometimes I can't even remember my own telephone number. Really? Oh, me too. What, what did you say? Uh, me? I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. It was you doing all the talking. No way. I didn't say anything at all. Get out of here. I can't take the word of a beggar. Beggar? Who are you calling a beggar? I sing for a living, like Michael Jackson. Like Thriller and... and so you're saying he's a beggar? Yeah. Uh, who'd have guessed that? What am I doing? Where am I going? 
My name is John. What did you do that for? Felt like it. Jeez, he didn't like it anyway. It was too itchy. How do you know what makes him itchy? You wear clothes and you're not itchy. And what about catching cold? What if this guy sneezes? He's probably never seen a Kleenex in his life. I'm sorry, God. I didn't think about that. Well, what were you thinking, man? You have to think about his feelings. Jeez. See what I mean? Sorry. Oh, try explaining sorry to him sometime. Was there no end to the beautiful and unusual things that Nixa was seeing and touching for the first time? Or was it just a stupid painting? <laughs> One thing was very certain. Everything was new, even the ground that moved. Oh, Winnie, did you see where he went? Extraordinary places, don't you? No, no, Tea no, break? No. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Biscuit? Hmm? Never mind. Well, you know, we do have a hard time of it, don't we? Chinese on the one side, Chinese on the other. I think we Guilers deserve a medal. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right. I say, is this some sort of native bow and arrow? Yes, it is, isn't it? Do you think I could have a try? Good. <laughs> Get out, put your Right. I used to shoot for Surrey. Let's see. A little bit, I think, to the left. Yeah. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. right, right. right. Hey, 
every time I come back here, this energy makes me feel young. It's just like the good old early days in the USA. Don't believe everything they say about this place, Jack. Oh, yeah? Well, anyway, I'm glad we had the opportunity to have this little chat before the meeting tomorrow. You uh, are a member of the family, aren't you, Shirley? Right? And you have solved that uh, number 40 outlet for me? You know one thing my grandma taught me when she gunned down my grandpa and that is business is business. Now you get that number 40 outlet for me, honey, the sky's the limit, you write your own ticket. Now what do you say? You gonna take me to number 40? I'll take you there tomorrow. That's my girl. What a view. Before Hong Kong, Uncle Nick Sao had only seen the dry desert landscape that surrounded his bush village. Will wonders never cease? Imagine, water, precious water as far as the eye could see. to last forever. Bad news, so salty you can't drink it. He was back home at last. But where were the kids? His darling, loving wife. How my uncle longed to see her face again. I'll give you the best years of my life. This is how you repay me. You want to Hong Kong and leave me with the kids? Oh, to be back with the loving children again. Thank goodness it was only a dream. I wonder what Sigmund Freud would have to say. Mm, not a bad place to open a roast duck restaurant here. You park for the taxi. Where are you going in the birthday suit? Tell Kitten, sit there on the tower.
Again. me into. <sighs> Winnie, what the hell's the matter with you? What am I supposed to do now? I was counting on your money. Why'd you promise to me if you couldn't deliver, you flake? They've towed my car and they're taking my stuff. What do I do now? I've been with him for two ugly 20 years. I even did that ice cube thing he likes. I can't tell you how disgusting it was. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a dried up, shriveled old, scuff of a willow tree. He even took my bike and leathers! Yay! Joey! Don't look at me that way! The thing you still got your dumb manager's job! I shall... I shall go out. Shut him up. Winnie, do me a personal favor, huh? Don't ever mention that Willow thing again. Cheryl, I can't believe it. Go home, Winnie. I don't have a home anymore. Forget him. It's painful, but you'll soon get over it. It's payback time. Wait, Winnie, Winnie. Please don't act so foolishly. You'll be my friend, right? You'll stay with me, right? Even though I got nothing? Of course. You know you can count on me. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You, I'm not done with you yet. Where were you last night? I was worried sick. Oh, don't give me those doe eyes. It's not like you know your way around here. Ava, I'm calling. Yes? May I help uh, you? No. Ah, get out of the way. Oh, oh. Uh. Yeah, there he is. Come on. Come on. Open up your little, you little. Okay. This way. Oh, my sternum. I gotta hurry. Come here, you. Come here. Come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get around this way. Wait a minute. Come on. Hey, who are these guys? What do they want from you? Grab him. All right. Get off him. Oh. Oh. Give me the bag. 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 I right, gotta get these oh, yeah. shoes revealed here. I'm just slipping here. Oh, don't fall. Faster, faster. Get out of me. 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 Get out of me.
Wherever you are. <gasps> oh, what the? Oh, oh, oh. Gee, over there, oh, sucking right, up right. at the boat. I'll get the guy. I'm going to go. Look out. Oh, oh. He's running again. Oh, oh. Seems like there's nothing here for me anymore. That's in Guadalupe, Colombia. You can't come to Guadalupe. Where did you meet those guys anyway? You know, we're really lucky. They could have sliced us up like lunch meat. And my ma's business is my family. Now what the hell's going on? My letter of resignation. I always hated Malibu burgers. Too much grease and nothing personal, Jack. Why are you want grateful son of a gun? I'm gonna get this store, and nobody's uh, mama's gonna oh, stand him on the quiet. Go, it's go, all right, go. I'll take care of you later. Nobody's mama's no, gonna stand Look at this go, filthy food. Look at this. What is this? This is unhygienic. Please, 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 please. And the one thing you're gonna get straight Malibu burgers in here to stay is American, it's wholesome, and it's gonna take over the world. <laughs> Jack, let me 
like your style. What part of China are you from, anyway? Hi, how are you? Been waiting long? Oh, cool it. I am not late till the big hand says 12. Huh? I'm very sorry, okay? But the big news is I have been promoted. <laughs> well, thanks for the congratulations. You know, it's not easy climbing to the top of the ladder these days. You know, kids. Yeah. Well, I'd love to talk about it, but I gotta get back, okay? I'll talk to you soon, though. I know. I know, I know. I feel the same way, too. We're friends, and I'm gonna miss you, too. Here, here, take my business card. Uh, that's my name and telephone number. And, and you can also fax me if that's more convenient for you, if you want. Don't you dare call collect. Don't be a cheapskate, huh? Let me get your car, too. You know, you never know when I might be passing through your neighborhood. I could drop on by or something. What are you doing there? Are you drawing a map? You are brilliant. I would never have thought of that. <laughs> wow, that's the airport. Do I rent a car or can I walk there? You mean there's no taxi? You mean there isn't any other way to get there? Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Tell me, uh, tell me, uh, did, did they build a subway? Oh, the desert, huh? Big apes. Big apes? You got gorillas? They eat human beings? No, they just bite you. Good. Go down the hill. Megaderms. Megaderms. <laughs> oh, I love elephants. Oh. Level with me. Are there any crocodiles? Huh? Water in Africa, huh? Okay, look, I, I really gotta get back to the office now. Here, don't lose my car. Oh, you got it, and, and I'll carry it with me always. And I won't lose it, so don't you worry about that. Take care. Goodbye. Like the colorful metal animals with wheels that could make a sound like a wounded hippo. But the most wondrous of all, Nixa would always say, the people of this distant land. And that 
they were the same, the same as you and I, inside where it counts. Hey, dude! Why'd you lie to me? You told me I couldn't get here by taxi. Well, you should try taking a taxi sometime. Why am I here? Well, very simple. After I got promoted, the competition and the pressure became too much, and I just couldn't take it anymore. You know how it is sometimes. Oh, I got big plans for us, pal. Hurry up, will you? Come on. What took you so long? Come on, let's get to work here. Can we take this snake now, please? Good enough to eat. Huh? What? We can't make change for this. This one's for free. What did I tell you about being such a cheapskate? Be a little generous to our customers. Look at all of them. Look at the lines. You know, it takes months to make a customer and only seconds to lose one. That's the spirit. I don't know. I'm not sure if the leather loincloth look is really me. So, how much longer until we get to the next village, huh? We're almost there. You're always saying we're almost there. What about when we were going to those mud huts and you said, we're almost there? We walked for three more weeks. You mean I gotta go walk across that plane? You gotta be pulling my chain. <laughs> <laughs>